This, this is, is the story, story of Athena, Athena and how she came to use the name Pallas. Now, let our story unfold. On a lonely night in the training fields of Triton, Athena, the Greek goddess of wisdom and war, is walking alone when her good companion Pallas slowly walks up to her. Oh, Pallas, how lovely to see you. What brings you here on this lovely night? Hello, Athena. I just wanted to talk to you. It's quite lonely here. Yes, yes, I agree. What's your father like, Athena? He might, he must be quite powerful, being the god of the gods. Oh, you know, just like any other dad, I guess. Really? Well, then, what's your mother like, then? Actually, I don't have a mother. What? You must have a mother. Is it here? Or another one of Zeus's lovers? I don't have a mother. I was born from Zeus's head. I sprung forward in full battle armor. That can't be possible. You just don't remember her, that's all. That's not entirely true. Sometimes I can just see a shadow of her. She was always so prudent. Hello, daughter. How are you on this very fine night? Hello, Father. Hello, Lord. I see that you're wearing your Aegis. Uh, er, uh. Pallas, sire, son of Triton. <clears throat> Tomorrow, I will be holding games in honor of the gods. I must get going. I will compete as the warrior as of Zeus. Athena, have you considered returning to Olympus to have a throne of a goddess? Not yet, Father. I have much to learn still, and I am not ready to return. I understand, daughter. I must return to the Owl Forest. I, too, will compete in your honor in the games tomorrow. At the games, the competitors fought fiercely and bravely. The shouts of fear and victory echoed around the court. They fought and fought until there were only two competitors left, Pallas and Athena. At first, Athena seemed to have the upper hand in spear throwing. But Pallas had trained forever with this weapon, for Triton had taught her that the art, the art of spear fighting well, and so she gradually took over. Zeus, remembering that Pallas had an interest in the Aegis, flicked it out to the side, hoping to distract her and give Athena a chance to disarm her. It worked only too well. Athena's spear punctured Pallas' heart, and she died a mournful death. Daughter. Even Triton forgives you. It was an accident that should be blamed solely on me. And this is how Athena came to have her most prized weapon, the Aegis. To make amends to her dear friend, Pallas, she ordered that she forever be known as Pallas Athena, the Greek goddess of war and wisdom.